Hi, we just finished meeting for intonation practice on January 17th. And we started with <laughs> a question I asked everyone last Wednesday, and I wrote this to remind me to ask everybody again. What is your word of the year? With absolutely no connections, but we have connections. What is your, but is your, the z and the y, the z and the y make a z. And instead of your with an or, I can always make it shorter in the year. So now it's what is your, what is your, what is your word da? You don't have to make a V in of, but you're connecting word da, word da the year. So what is your word of the year? What is your word of the year? Without connections, what word inspires you to reach your goals? What word in, this is going to connect, word inspires you. And now we have inspires you. So the same thing, Z and a Y make a Z, inspires you. Da. This T changes to a D because it's between two voiced sounds. Reach your, and I don't have to say your, I can make it your shorter, reach your goals. And that S is a Z. So, um, what word inspires you to reach your goals? What word inspires you to reach your goals? This, you can keep it um, you. Uh, do you want help? But you can also change you to ya to make it faster and more ca uh, casual. Do you want help? Do you want help? You're not going to hear the T on want, and you're not going to hear the P on help, but your tongue does have to go to that position. Do you want, I'm going to the end, want help? And just keep your lips closed, that's it. Don't release the P, help. Do you want help? Where are you from? You can keep it perfectly, where are you from? But you can also change you to ya. Say, um, and you can drop the R completely if you want to be casual and say, where are you from? Where you from? Where are you from? Or keep the R, where are you from? Where are you from? What's your name? If we say that with a contraction, what's your, it, I don't know why, why didn't I got stuck on this before. We usually say, what's your, what's your, and, and that's because we're kind of dropping the S and connecting the T and the Y, and a T and a Y make a CH. So what's your, if you want to keep the your sound, or you can change your to er, so now it sounds like chur. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? And here, this is, um, if you are introduced to somebody and they say their name first, no, <laughs> I say my, my name first. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy. What's your name? I'm emphasizing your or chur or chore um, because I'm telling you mine, and now the emphasis is on you, yours. So, hi, I'm Christy. What's your name? What's your? What's your name? You can say, my name is, and connect my name is, or you can make a contraction and say names. So, um, my name is Christy. My name's Christy. I was working on a case, and in this case... <laughs> Um, it's when you can make an ing, which would usually be in the back, ing, like ring. Now you can change it to e e n and make it in with the n in the front, and then it can connect to the vowel much easier. I was working on. It'll sound like non. Working on a case. It's going to sound and feel like a lot of ends. I was working on a case. I was working on a case. Watch your step. Oh, I didn't make these uh, bold. Watch your step. I'm changing. Watch your. Watch your step. Synthetic preservative added. If I don't connect it, preservative added. If I do connect it, preservative added. So synthetic, and don't make the k noise. Synthetic preservative added. And don't make that final D. I should put that mark there, too. Uh, there. Okay. 
These things have implications for the current market. So have them. Have them is really, that's the only connection. And current and market have T's that you won't hear because you'll hold it in the T position. These things have implications for the current market. Engage audience. This J will connect to the A. Ah. Engage audience. So the words that we had, sequence, remember to round your lips, sequence, sequential, sequential, sequent, with a T, you just hold, you won't hear it, and tempora, temper, temporally, <laughs> temporally, or three syllables, temporally, that's the one I would go with. You don't have to learn both of them, just pick one you like. So I'm picking the shorter one, temporally, and temporality, temporality. All right, that's it. Let me go back and do these without stopping. Okay, and the fast version. What is your word of the year? What word inspires you to reach your goals? Do you want help? Where are you from? Or, where are you from? What's your name? Hi, I'm Christy. What's your name? My name is Christy. Or, my name's Christy. I was working on a case. Watch your step. Synthetic preservative added. These things have implications for the current market. Engage audience. All right. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you or you, you hearing me next Wednesday.